I would like to start with my conclusions, and then I'll show you how I arrived at those conclusions. Either A, Dreamweaver is not connecting to SFTP correctly, or B, WP Engine is restricting something that Dreamweaver specifically does. Let me then show you how I arrived at these conclusions. First, I'll lay some groundwork. I'm using Adobe Dreamweaver 18.2, specifically the 10165 build. And since May 31st, 2018, I have been using the new 18.2 version. And temporarily, my SFTP problems with Jin specifically were fixed. Let's first illustrate the problem. Here, I'm going to do a simple SFTP connection using the username and password authentication method. I'll click on test and I get this dialog box from Dreamweaver, ID SSH key change dialog. And next up is cannot make connection to host, login or password is incorrect. Okay, now let's try another account on the list here, one that's also on WP Engine. I'll click cancel, I'll scroll down, and I'll grab another account on this list. How about this one? Here, I will use a completely different set of username and password information in an attempt to connect to sftp.wpengine.com. I'll hit test, and I get a successful connection. So this does indeed prove that I can use Dreamweaver to connect using SFTP to WP Engine. I manage 13 different accounts here at WP Engine, so let's see if a couple other ones work. We'll try this account. I'll test and we get a successful message. Let's try another one. I'll test. The connection negotiates, and it's successful. Let's now try the problem account, way up here. I'll test, and a failure. So let's examine this problem a little closer. Now, although this isn't conclusive evidence of anything, I would like to point out here that of the other accounts, servers, and sites that I manage, this issue is specific and unique to WP Engine. Part of this reason could be that I don't often change the SFTP connection information for a VPS or a dedicated server, and on WP Engine, it does tend to change more often. However, it is important to note that I don't have this error pop up on these other accounts. Now, in the process of diagnosing the problem, I did a couple support sessions through live chat with WP Engine. We were unable to determine exactly what the problem was. I was able to solve it in the long run, and I will show exactly how that was done. But in the meantime, I would like to point out that several tests were done, both by the technician and myself, where usernames and passwords were reset and completely changed. So this is not a matter of simply copying and pasting the wrong characters in a password, an extra space, or even typing in the wrong information, because we manually typed both by hand several times. In fact, what we discovered was a deeper problem. Here is a modified FTP log delivered to me by the WP Engine technician that shows some interesting problems. Now by modified, what I mean is I've redacted some information here. First off, I've removed my IP address, which I did reset my IP address pool and even go so far as to reset my modem and restart my computer before contacting the technician. I've also removed information about my ISP provider since this will be a public video on the internet. Otherwise, the logs are unmolested. So one thing becomes apparent when looking at these logs. This function, set EGID, doesn't run properly on WP Engine or isn't allowed. It says operation not permitted. And it appears that every time this particular function runs, as you can see on the list here, it is Dreamweaver as the culprit requesting some sort of privacy or PR root UID that is not permitted on WP Engine. This leads me to believe that the problem could be on WP Engine's end, not allowing certain types of SFTP connections. It could also be true that the problem is on Dreamweaver's end, not responding to this operation not being permitted in an appropriate way. Which one is true, I'm not sure. Let's now take a look at the FTP login Dreamweaver and see what we're getting here. On the problem account, I'll hit test. Dreamweaver gives me the XML failure message and the FTP failure. I'll hit test again and one more time for good measure. Now I'll cancel out and I get the error yet again when the system does try to reconnect after changing site settings. Here in my FTP log, I'm left with a rather ambiguous one-liner using port 2222. 
which is not helpful in diagnosing the problem. During the support session, we wanted to be thorough, so we tested using another FTP program, in this case, FireZilla, and there we were able to negotiate a successful connection using the exact same copy and pasted usernames and passwords. This, of course, leads me again to believe the problem is within Dreamweaver. However, I do think that this particular function deserves additional examination, both on WP Engine side and on Dreamweaver's side, and I'm not exactly sure what information needs to be transmitted to either one of these companies in order to successfully negotiate this problem and solve it permanently. The only thing that I do know is that in order for me to solve it on my end, anytime an SFTP username on WP Engine changes and the IP address changes, I have to go into my roaming folder for Adobe and I have to completely delete my preferences, uninstall Dreamweaver, reinstall Dreamweaver, reimport my sites, then create a new site and map the SFTP to that new site in order to negotiate a successful connection. This becomes a rather daunting task, even with the STE file export tool, to import multiple sites that have multiple servers within them that require multiple SFTP layer connections. In fact, it ends up taking a whole day to mess with. Within my site definition list, there are again multiple servers with multiple accounts on those servers. And of these accounts, there's only two where this issue has ever occurred. Primarily, they happen on WP Engine accounts. However, in the past, I did have a similar issue with one Amazon AWS account, where I had to change the settings within my Amazon security area to allow Dreamweaver to connect using SFTP. This leads me to believe that WP Engine may be using Amazon AWS. Here's exactly the steps required to recreate this problem. On WP Engine, create a new SFTP user, and then in Dreamweaver, make a new account and connect using SFTP user password settings on port 2222, and then upload files. Usually this will work the first time through. Then back on WP Engine, change the SFT password and or username, and then update that password in Dreamweaver. Try to reconnect. In this case, you will get intermittent failures, which means it doesn't always fail, but sometimes it does. And if it does, the fix in this case tends to just be restarting your computer and Dreamweaver, which is great, not too much time lost there. But here's where the major guaranteed failure occurs. Back on WP Engine in step three, instead of just changing the username and password, request a change that would result in an IP address change, either through an IP migration from server A to server B, or switch from PHP 5 to 7. Both of these things will trigger the IP address change at WP Engine, and then your failure is pretty much guaranteed from a connection layer using Dreamweaver. That failure results in the following dialog box. Failed to read the contents of XML resource, ID, SSH key change dialog. After clicking on OK, the next error is a cannot make connection to host, login or password is incorrect dialog box. WP Engine's FTP logs will then state the following. Your session will be opened. Your username login will be successful. However, immediately afterward, this particular error occurs set EUID, operation not permitted, at which time your connection will fail. When this happens, valuable stack development time is lost. Instead, I'm diagnosing and debugging software and the FTP connection layer for a hosting company. I feel that this issue could be resolved if I document it clearly and have a tech from WP Engine and Adobe both examine the issue by providing them with the same video and information and links to both tickets. My ends here are simple, I just want to be able to work. Thank you for your time and your consideration. Please help me resolve this issue permanently. Have a great day.